see, the old, old piece was the edge of the roof sheathing. And we found that because this had been uh, tacked, there were too many nails in it, and it had split to the point that no more could be put in it. It's tongue and groove, and if you look down from the top, you can see the piece that was spliced on. What we did is we sawed off the old piece, and I sawed it uh, as far out as I could before getting into all the nails that were in it, and I knew it would ruin the saw if I went across there. And I put a new piece, glued it right to the side of the remains of the original, and it goes all the way along. And it will be a very solid piece to, to uh, nail to, or to tack to. The roof canvas comes over the edge, down to the bottom of the unpainted area, and then it's tacked every inch or so. Then over that is a piece of half round that's a trim piece that protects the edge. Now that trim piece was completely gone, and the only evidence of it was that there were nails that were inch and a quarter long, which were much longer than you, you would use, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, uh, uh, that you would never have used for tacking. And I figured there must have been some kind of a molding there. Which, which is long gone. I have a feeling that Seashore might have taken it off when they put the canvas on the roof originally. And uh, what we confirmed that by looking at old photographs of 100 in, as late as its very last year. And there indeed was a piece of molding that covered everything. So we're going to have to make a piece of half round that will do that. Now, we also found that the lower piece was uh, split and wasn't really doing anything. They had made a couple of repairs in it along the way and I decided it would be better to put a brand new one on that would uh, be solid. So we have replaced that with a piece of ash and it's the, the other thing was that the ends of the ribs were broken off. They were not doing anything so the piece was just sort of hanging up there. So I chopped off the remains of three or four of those ribs, I can't remember how many exactly, and using some scrap pieces remaining from the original arch, there was enough wood in that so I could make new ends out of the old wood and put tenons on the end so that they would go into mortises in this piece right here, put screws through the end and now it's much more solid than it ever was. At the very end, looking back here, you see a little decorative piece inside. Actually, I'm not quite oh, at the very end. Yeah, right here. Back up. Yep. Uh, there's a little decorative piece which really wasn't very structural. Yep. Well, we made mm -hmm. it structural by putting a four inch or six inch screw right, drilling right through it and boring into the frame of the car so that it held it down solidly. The nut that you see in the cast iron washer is a truss rod that goes from one side of the car to the other and kind of pulls everything together. 